Hello and thank you for attending another ECAO short how to video. This is Mike Kazemian from Advanced Network Devices. Today we will be demonstrating ECAO Mobile Edition for iPhone and iPad version 2.1, which has been released as of recent. Once we execute the application, in the main page we can see the projects are grouped by um, all projects, cloud projects, sidekick projects, and created by the license owner. Once we select one of the projects that was surveyed, we can see uh, that in the view, survey, and inspect mode, there has been a significant changes. In the view mode, we can select the um, network requirements. We can see uh, various uh, applications that we can run and based on that then the heat map will be uh, calculated and the results will be displayed like basic connectivity, ECAO best practices, high speed network connectivity, etc. Um, or we can add our own which was not uh, possible before. Furthermore, we can see the um, results as a mobile edition, mobile device, how a mobile device would see it, or as measured, which is what the uh, measuring device, or in this specific case, Sidekick will see. We can see the measured AP, simulated APs, comments, exclusion areas, AP information to show or no show, the color scheme that we would like to uh, select, the granulation, we can change that granulation like the PC edition now, whether the granulation controls to be shown or not, and then the accuracy and the resolution. For example, we can see here, if we increase the accuracy, we can see that the heat map results will change based on the accuracy settings that we have. Uh, the major changes has been done in the uh, inspect portion. Uh, which is quite interesting. Once we zoom into an area, we can see that all the survey results are displayed. We can pick any survey uh, data um, or the survey that, that was done, and we can see exactly what happened in any moment in time. We can also see what APs were audible uh, within that survey. So we can see all the connections here that are quite visible. Um, and also we can now play what was uh, the survey. Uh, so we can click play. And now we can see that the surveyor's path will be displayed. And then it is, as you can see here, it goes up automatically. And then we can pause it if we wish to and analyze the information and we can move forward. In this specific instance, we have an interesting case here. We have two areas that we surveyed. One was zone one, the other one was zone two. Now we can see that the uh, one of the APs on this zone was audible during entire survey period. So if you look at the survey period, we can see not only the APs here were audible, there was one AP that was audible and we would like to see exactly which AP was that. We can pause this and then we can go and view the results of AP radios, channels, frequency, waterfall, or combined graph. In this case, I want to see the radio. So we can see all of these APs are extreme networks and then we come down and we can see there is one AP which is called Aces Tech. Now, we, once we click on this, we can validate that this is the AP that was audible during the survey period. Um, and we can see that AP is audible. And as we are going along, we in the survey area, which is here, we can see that AP is just transmitting all across this warehouse to the other side. Now, if we want to report this back, we can simply go into the view mode and we know the area that this AP was active and we can click on the AP and we can see here that we can tag 
the APs here or we can freeze it or we can move it. So in this instance, I'm not in I can see that that AP is visible. So I can mark it here uh, with a different color. I can add comments to it if I wish to, um, or I can add tags to it if I want to. And then I can uh, basically save the results and report back regarding this specific AP, which is audible, and then the um, surveyor or the designer of the wireless network can investigate to see what this AP is all about, why is it so audible across a warehouse, which is a uh, one, one million square feet, um, uh, quite far away. Uh, so basically, this is a very powerful tool for inspection and for analysis of a wireless network that has been surveyed. This concludes an overview of version 2.1 and how effective it can be in reference to the surveys that are done and the analysis that needs to be done. I do thank you for attending this short how to video um, and look forward to see you in the future uh, how to short videos by advanced network devices.